What is going on, everybody? DJ Mines here. Very excited to be making YouTube videos again. All right, so finally, I am solo mining Bitcoin officially. Yes, like I've always wanted to, but they're a little bit too pricey. I, I think like the Gecko ones were anywhere from five to almost a thousand dollars, you know, depending on which one you buy. And I felt like for me, that was just too expensive on a gamble. Maybe in the future, I'll get one of those. I don't know, but I wanted to start small. So this entire setup here cost me under two hundred dollars. I got two USBs, pretty cool. I'll show you how I got them, where I got them. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I paid for all of this on my own money. No one helped me get any of this. I just wanted to, to put that out there so you know it's completely, uh, or I don't know, you can trust me, right? So basically on Bitcoin merch or other places as well, you can find these on Amazon. People sell these things for like five to $1,000 in the bull run. And I've always thought they're really, really cool. And I would love to have one. However, it's, oh God, man. I mean, at the end of the day, the chances of us really hitting a block are so small. So I felt like, is it really worth it for me and my situation to spend five to $1,000? I don't know. Maybe it is for you. Maybe it is. And maybe, like I said, in the future one day, I'll consider it. But I think at the moment for me, it wasn't the best thing. Now, you do get 10 times the hash rate because I'm getting you know about 300 to 350 mega hash for each one. So about 700 mega hash and you're getting 250 giga hash. That's definitely better as far as a dollar value. I don't know, giga hash, mega, whatever you want to say, right? It's definitely better in that sense. But how I got these... Uh, Again, not sponsored from Coastal Crypto or any affiliation with them. I follow them on Twitter and they were selling these for $60 each. And I was like, you know what, dude, for 60 bucks a pop, I wouldn't even mind gambling. Yeah, again, am I going to hit a block? Probably not. It was 10 bucks for shipping. So all in so far, we're in $130. Then I went to Amazon and made sure that I bought a five amp hub, a USB 2.0. It has to be 2.0 to my knowledge. And yeah, this was 40 bucks. So, you know, I don't think there was really much tax, if anything. So like I said, about $180 all in and we get to gamble our little hearts out. Now heading over to eBay, it looks like you can still get these. The price kind of depends. I saw one go for $51 yesterday. That was on an auction. This is a very similar one. So you're going to want to look up Block Eruptor. And like I said, you get around 330 mega hash. Let's see. I'm going to show you what I'm getting right here. On my first one, I'm getting 335. And then on our second one, we're getting about 335. Accepted share. I don't know. It's saying that we got a block. We definitely did not get a block. I checked on the pool side. And I'll show you the pool side in just a moment. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be paying $80, $90 for these. They are very, very old to my understanding. I'm not an OG in the crypto space. I've been doing this for like two years. But to my understanding, and there you go. Buy it now, 56 bucks. Of course, check out the, the reputable sellers. I have no idea. Maybe yours will come broken. Maybe yours will only last six months to a year. So that's definitely one of the benefits of probably buying new is I would assume it would last longer. This is a USB, especially a USB 2.0. So who knows how long these things will last. So as far as the pool side, I was trying to use brain pools, which is right here, but it wouldn't actually detect my USB. And I think it's probably because it's in the mega hash. Maybe I didn't wait long enough definitely if you can get brains pull to work better for you that's awesome because the dashboard looks cool but that's okay yeti hooked me up we went to solo.ckpool.org apparently this is like super super og basic as hell and uh, hey it works man and uh this is what it looks like when you know it's working <laughs> besides you, you know your cg miner i should have mentioned that i'm using cg miner version 3.72 and this is what it looks like you know, nothing special. You hit a block, cool. You don't, well, it is what it is. So we come down to solo.ckpool.org and right here is where you would paste in your wallet address. Very simply, uh, how you would find this second page of knowing that it's actually working because there's no dashboard or UI here, right? You would just copy this right here. If you can see that in the middle, HTTP uh, forward slash forward slash solo.ckpool and it says slash users at the end right after this slash you would just paste in your wallet address simple as that you are up and running you are now solo mining bitcoin how freaking cool is that i do want to show you something else just in case you decide to do this on your own i did have to use a dig hopefully i'm saying that properly because these usbs that i have at least maybe the newer gecko ones are better they don't have a driver that just pops up i've seen a lot of videos that people say just plug them in the driver pops up it didn't for me but if it does uh, or if you're having issues with this as well, just go ahead and download Zadig and it, it'll tell you how to do it. I had to go to options and find like hidden drivers. Really simple to do. This program is amazing. Please use an, an actual real uh, link and uh, it's zadig.akeo.ie. 
So some of you may know last year I actually hit an Ethereum block. It was 2.3 Ethereum. It was worth a lot of money last year. It was really awesome. And that was like the hardest thing you could do in the GPU world was hitting a solo Ethereum block. And everybody was telling me, man, you're an idiot. You're so dumb. You'll never hit one. You're going against China and America, everybody across the planet, blah, blah, blah. There's so many haters out there when you start solo mining, if you, if you ever solo mine. And then I hit it and it was awesome. And I made so much money that month. And then I kept doing it like a dummy and I got greedy and I didn't end up hitting a second one. So I did lose a good bit of money that I could have potentially made on the second one. So yeah, never feel bad, man, about solo mining. Yeah, people are always going to hate. How much? How many watts do you think this genuinely uses? I don't know, man. Five? Like five watts, I'm guessing? My computer's on anyways. I'll show you something that I, I do all the time. I mean, uh, you know, I run this in the background 24-7. This is loot.tv. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. This makes me Bitcoin. This makes me roughly 60 to 70 cents a day Bitcoin just for watching ads 24-7. Of course, I, I, I totally watch them. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't watch them. I'm not going to lie to you. I just let them run in the background. Plus this. So it basically pays for the electricity on this. And then you also, go ahead and mine on this computer. This is like one of my Windows machines. So it really, it's kind of paid for itself by watching these 24 seven ads. So I think it's really cool. I could see myself, and I know it's not the most intelligent decision to make. I could see myself having like 50 to 100 of these, just putting them out on a table somewhere. I think it's really interesting. I know that would not be smart. Of course, that'd be a really dumb decision, but I don't care, man. I, I think it's really neat. I could definitely see myself buying a bunch more and I have six more that I can put on this. I think there's a 100% chance, or I should say 99% chance that I'll buy six more of something, even if it's not these lower hash rate ones. These are mega hash, like I said. So let me know what you think about solo mining Bitcoin. Is it stupid? Is it for you? I do think it's stupid, but it's fun as hell, man. Don't let anybody shame you because you want to solo mine. Again, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to check us out on Twitter, like this video, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.